Right, hey guys, how are we doing? We're back on another video from Mother's Basement and we are checking out the best anime of summer 2021 wants to watch. I want some recommendations because I'm still catching up from previous season. I recently finished Vivi, I am uh, started 86, I finished Megalobox Nomad, I'm caught up with To Your Eternity, uh, there's something else I've watched. But I want to know what is now, what is current, what is the actual, what are the best now to watch? Let's see what Mother's Basement has to recommend, shall we? had it rough in the front half of 2021 as yeah. we all collectively learned that you can in fact have too much of a good thing yeah there was a lot of choice <laughs> if only our booster packs came packed with secret rares and our anime seasons with instant classics but in practice when super cub is overshadowed by dinazon oh mate yeah that's what i finished as well that was amazing is overshadowed by those snow white notes is that's on my list of things to watch that was amazing all taxi was class that was amazing there was a lot good fucking food that's actually <laughs> Oh wow, okay. Finally, I'll have time to Interesting catch up take. on all the anime of the year contenders I put on hold for other anime of the year contenders. <laughs> that said, there are still plenty of new anime this season. So there are some worth checking out. Alright, okay, cool. By watching them, oh my plus god. All of the ones that aren't, I have put together a list of those for your convenience. Amazing. These are the ones to watch for summer 2021. Oh, and uh, just to be clear up front, uh, due to how late in the season they're coming out, I wasn't able to include the Edaten Deities No Only Peace, an uh, okay. insane action series with a really cool. That does look style. interesting. Maybe wow. In studio Mappa, so it will probably be pretty good. Oh, okay, cool. The great Jahi will not be defeated, which is basically the devil is a part timer, only instead of the world's nicest middle manager, the main character is a sassy lost cool. child. Cool. Sounds amazing. Busty Oof. Oof. Lord. Oof. They look like they have potential, so if they're good, I'll let you guys know in a quick follow-up video. Yeah, okay. With that said, Here our first entry is actually a spring show, but one that was in Netflix jail until a couple weeks back, and there's almost nothing this season that's anywhere near as good as it's. So oh, right. Yeah, okay, what we want to catch up on anime of the year contender, Godzilla Singular. Okay, like interesting. Things, hmm. Godzilla my girlfriend really likes Godzilla as well, so this could be an interesting watch for the both of us. Is packed full of callbacks to and fascinating reinterpretations of both iconic and obscure bits of lore throughout the franchise's 70 year history. Interesting. Don't worry if you're not caught up on all your kaiju facts yet, because Singular Point also packs in plenty of its own personality. With echoes of Satoshi Kone and Steins Gate reverberating cool. Very cool. by award winning science fiction author and physics PhD, Toe and Joy. Interesting. He has a physics PhD as well. Idea, he knows his stuff. Is, you're going to have a ton of fun watching a ragtag crew of kooky genius mechanics pilot their janky machine calibrated uh. garage kit mech into battle against radio emitting pterosaurs and. I mean, if you've heard of this franchise, you, you can guess how things will escalate yeah, from there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Wild imaginary physics and I love how, like, haphazardly looking that mech is. That's boss. <laughs> enough and add enough plot wrinkles that Singular Point feels fresh and unpredictable, even as it builds up to what it tells you it's going to build up to in its right. title. Also, Godzilla. Like Mob Psycho and My Hero Academia's Studio Bones animating the charming cast of human characters. Oh! Beastars Studio Orange handling the differently charming CG critters and They vehicles. do look very different. Kinda goes without saying that it looks great doing yeah. it. Yeah. Now, while we're on the subject of giant, gorgeous avatars of destruction, Kageki Shoujo should be on the radar Kageki Shoujo. recently discovered anything about themselves thanks to Resident Evil Village, if hmm. you know what I'm saying. Hmm. If you don't, mm -hmm. Kageki Shoujo is the new anime standard bearer for tall girl supremacy. Okay. This perfectly fluffy angel of chaos. I cannot say that I like tall girls because my girlfriend's very short and she would be very upset. <laughs> total inability to read a room are about to cause some major shakeups at Japan's most prestigious and competitive opera academy. Ooh, Despite interesting. This is different. Of its legacy or the pedigrees of her esteemed classmates, she plans to rise up and become the school's top star. For 
first to feel that shakeup is her roommate, Ai Narata, who came I to the Narata. school after some traumatic and controversial fan interactions oh, forced no. her to graduate out of a promising idol career. No! Now, think that an idol trying to escape from her past would like the only girl in school who has no idea who she is, hmm. but unfortunately, Sarasa's general lack of respect for boundaries means... At least at first, oh, wow. that's not much comfort to the ex idol. Oh, no. This series seems to have some interesting things to say about the entertainment industry in Japan, and it packages that with an entertaining cast of the sort of eccentric characters you'd expect to see pursuing a life in the I like the hairstyle. Arts. That's it cool. It also features some absolutely breathtaking shot compositions and animation. Nice. Like beautifully timed orchestral music, implemented by the same sound director who did Beck, Akudama Drive, and Love Live, that give this Sweet. cute dramedy an appropriately theatrical flair. Out of all the new shows I've seen this season, <laughs> Kaiyo Shoujo is funny. the most immediately charming. That's blatantly just a don't touch my shoulder movement. To explore these immensely appealing characters in more depth, I think it could be the season's sleeper hit. Look at all those different hairstyles, man. that's just the theater kid in me talking. The exhausted millennial in me suspects that the underlying themes of the also underwatched... Life, Life Lessons with, with Uramichi Onisan. ...might resonate a little more broadly with more anime fans. Okay. The series is named for and stars the gymnastics coach host of a low-budget public This is very different. <laughs> well, I watch the way. Groups of kids through fun exercises. Yay! Creaking, strained smile that doesn't at all hide his exhaustion. Oh, mate. Anxiety, crushing despair, overseeing all his high flying acrobatic dreams reduced to this. Oh, wow, okay, no, this could actually be quite course, funny, yeah. He could be one of his acrobat college co high stuck in embarrassing mascot costumes that they're too terrified of their senpai to take off until. After they've gotten some beers in them. Nice. And at least the director is also phoning it in so hard. That oh, okay. This could actually be quite entertaining. I like the sound of this. Busting out his inner Sako on a bunch of impressionable huh. children or all but cracking when one of his tyke co-stars innocently asks him why he's not a daddy yet when he's 31. As anime goes, this adaptation is, well... Barely more animated than its source material, but it does at least translate the manga's subtly evocative reaction faces faithfully. Right, cool. Strong comedic timing. And that's kind of all it needs to do, especially... Does sound funny. It does sound quite funny, this. Yeah. ...stellar voice acting from some of the funniest seiyus in the business. Uramichi's played by Zetsubo Sensei and Saiki Kusuo's oh. Hiroshi Kamiya. The mascots are Gintama's Gintoki and monthly girl's Nozaki-kun himself. And maybe best of all, Mamoru Miyano plays a gutter brain singer co-hosting alongside Nana Mizuki. These performances are just gold all the way down care about great voice acting or great animation just great production values in general then you'll also want to keep an eye on the case study of vanitas whose core the cast case includes study of Tantro, vanitas Genos, oh. Astia, and menma and whoa Tantra, big Tantra, cast Tantra has more than jobs when it comes to super we've got some action, action stuff going on here cool though i must confess the case study of I vanitas Nisio Isin aesthetic, I'm even more enamored with the ornate post Napoleonic steampunk. Oh my god, that looks sick. Shows fantastical Whoa. And vision of Paris, where our titular hero, Dr. Vanitas, uses an ancient grimoire to save the city's secret vampire population from the insatiable bloodlust that consumes them. This sounds boss. Dark forces corrupt their truth. Oof. It's not clear if his intentions are wholly altruistic, though, and the show's other hero, a vampire named Noe, isn't ready to trust him just yet, hmm. not without good cause. Though Noe is the type to sprint halfway across a crowded atrium to catch a lady as she's falling, so what a gentleman. he'll probably end up helping the dog either yes. way. And as I'm personally nearly as much of a sucker for uncertain and 
conflicted shonen ensemble relationships as I am for steampunk. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Immensely. Even if the writing doesn't hold up through the whole season, though, Itamura's at times intentionally jarring direction is perfectly suited Oof. to both the show's superhumanly fast action and its Whoa. more psychological Aww. supernatural elements. And once again, it's Studio Bones doing the animation. So okay, like, okay. Just look at it, man. Yeah. What's more, that beautiful action is backed by an Whoa. score composed by the huh? goddess of fate herself, Yuki Kajiura. Also, she did Madoka Magica and Sword Art Online and Pandora Hearts, which is from the same mangaka as Vanitas. Whoa. The point is, though, the music's amazing and perfectly suited to this. I'm going to be checking this out. Everything I think. From a production standpoint, yes, I will. A real treat for the What's senses. amazing? Speaking of impressive animation and musical superstars, though, a certain subset of anime fans just had their ears perk up because, yes, today, for the first time in Jeff Thu history, I am recommending a Love Live, specifically Love Live Superstar, the latest iteration of okay. generation of Sunrise, Katakawa, and Bandai's intensely beloved School Idol franchise. I've been interested hmm. in giving these shows a go ever since Zombieland Saga. Zombieland Saga! I need to watch Revenge! I need to watch Revenge! Is it good? Is it as good as the first season? Let me know! Screenwriter Juki Hanada is the absolute best at. Sadly though, much like work. Sunrise's other unstoppable cross-media merchandising machine, Gundam, the sheer quantity of continuity that appears to be contained within the mainline series of Love Live kept me at bay for a good long while. Oh, right, okay. I needed a fresh jump. On point and Super oh, is it? delivers that and then some. Cool. It's got everything the franchise is known for. Beautiful music, beautiful er animation, especially in its best in class CGI dance sequences. Ooh, not bad. That actually looks really good. Plus, wow. Vibrant background A lot better than the Zombie Land saga ones where they go full CG like and say, Ooh. Much of it animated. You won't see many anime movies this side of yeah. the studio Ghibli. This good, and it's not just for show. The cinematic, information hmm. dense, musically energized direction and storyboarding keep the show's plot moving at a rapid pace without dropping anything from its surprisingly heavy load of character development and world building. The traditional music academy these girls are about to idle in has some interesting history and okay. class divisions. So we got law. <laughs> Oof, I look like it hurt. <laughs> She's just fucking back oh, straight to the wall. Stories about overcoming insecurities and social pressures. These wannabe idols, especially our heroine Kanon, who loves to sing but Aww. suffers from severe stage fright, grabbed me faster and harder than the cast of any Moe thing I've seen since maybe a place further than the universe. Hmm. And if that I really need to watch that anime. That's on my list. Has potential, you clearly also need to watch a place further than the universe. Yeah, that's on my list. If you have already, though, and your life has felt tragically devoid of anime penguins ever since, you should also watch the Aquatope on White Sand. What is this? The latest original anime from PA Works and Lull in the Sea director Toshia Shinohara. Huh. Coincidentally, this show also stars an idol, albeit a failed one who left Tokyo after losing one too many opportunities no. to younger and luckier colleagues. No tragic backstory. Okinawa on a whim, mostly to avoid the literal pity party waiting for her back in her small um. hometown. There, on the advice uh. of a shady fortune teller who's actually quite lovely once you get to know her, Fuka Miyazawa <laughs> wanders west toward the setting sun, has her hat stolen by either a young boy or a nature spirit, it, it's not entirely clear, okay. and eventually <laughs> ends up at Gama Gama Aquarium, hey, that a looks local nice. tourist haunt that's also something else. Hmm. Once inside, let's just say the fish called to her, and so she ends up begging the aquarium's Ooh. deputy director, Kukuru Misakino, a high school girl whose brain is so full of fish facts that she turns in squid care essays as math homework. <laughs> and job. I like the that. <laughs> that was dead is good. A or <laughs> anime that presents a captivating mix of grounded human character writing and dreamlike oh. presentation flourishes that occasionally verge into the supernatural. 
It likely won't be everyone's cup of tea, but for those of you who do really vibe with it, I think it promises to be an all-time favorite, and I would say that everyone needs to at least check out the first episode to okay. see if that's that. On the subject of vibe checks, how What's a this? realist hero rebuilt how the, kingdom. Hero rebuilt the kingdom. kingdom. Is this an East Kai? Title alone, but passed it second with flying colors by dropping a pitch perfect Yu-Gi-Oh reference Whoa. at the end of an episode full of quality character comedy and solid management isekai politicking. It is so we got an isekai. The we had to. Self label indicates ever so slightly up its own ass, as well as the collective asses of Japanese educated civil servants. Mm -hmm. Mid posits are so good at civil and economic planning that a medieval king would willingly it surrender. It kind of reminds me of Shield Hero a little bit. Sheer awe of his raw efficacy. But Obviously not with the not politics and stuff. I just mean like the setting and the character design and that. Ones the show tells in its charmingly zany first episode. Its characters aren't exactly grounded, but they are well realized and entertaining, good at bouncing off each other, and more importantly, the blunt, sardonic persona of our hero Soma Kazuya. Plus, the comedy's not all that's on offer. Already, we've seen glimpses of suitably complicated maps, supply right. chains, and social hierarchies that should present some interesting logistical challenges for Soma to overcome. Interesting. This is very different. This is different. Yeah. Modern socioeconomic theory, which is already my kind of isekai, and knowing that all that's going to be filtered through the kind of mind that would reference not just Yu-Gi-Oh's gloriously over-the-top dialogue, right. but also specifically the actual card game's notoriously finicky chain mechanics, I am stoked to see oh. what kind of tactics he comes up with. It's a clever now, man. If that's not your kind of isekai, don't worry. There's six different ones of course during there is. this okay. that you can easily okay. sub into this slot Sweet. if you prefer. Dungeon of Black Company offers right. dark social satire combined with stylish visuals and an over-the-top asshole pro tag you huh. love to hate. Yeah. Seda Gensoki, Spirit Chronicles, has some really interesting mm, ideas about me. conflicting identities and motivations and reincarnated souls. Wow, it's Kirito. It mostly feels like Sword <laughs> Art Online without the online. And Drugstore in Another World is exactly what it says on the tin. What? And also the most 5 out of 10 anime I've seen in years. Oh no. Sadly, you will not be Drug able to sub in another world. Moonlit Fantasy into that slot because that show has earned its own place on this list through a combination of sharp wit. We got hit by a truck. Writing, reminiscent but not oh, derivative right. of Konosuba cool, cool. with unironically solid storytelling and world building. Our hero, Makoto Misumi, is actually the child of two isekai expats who agreed to give their world's goddess their most precious thing one day in exchange for being transported to Earth. Oh. The god of our moon, Sukuyomi, explains all this to Makoto on Sukuyomi? the way out of our world, promising to erase the browser history and destroy his porn collection if he'll just play nice with the goddess he's sent oh, to me. Oh, okay, yeah, dude, do it. <laughs> agrees, but then he meets her, and she decides that he's too ugly to be a hero, no! so she voices her weakest <laughs> blessing off on him with the power to speak all languages, which is actually really overpowered, but not in a combat sense, and boots How him can out it be? <laughs> in the wastes at the edge of the world to live with all the ugly orcs and dead No, oh my more god. Accurately, she boots him into the sky several miles above those wastes, where Sukuyomi appears once more to give him one last pity power up. Luckily, this isekai works on John Carter of Mars rules, where adapting to Earth has given Makoto super That film is so bad though, John Carter, Jesus Christ. Environment, so he survives the fall without right. incident, and from there goes on to befriend some orcs and start learning about their culture, along with this world's delightfully esoteric mystical magic system. That sense of mysticism, combined with the capricious and cruel nature of the goddess, mm -hmm. gives this show a classical mythology sort of vibe that sets it apart mm -hmm. from other isekai fare and helps to unite its more serious elements with its charming sense of humor. Uh, Old school fantasy fans in particular will find a lot to love. That looks so cool! As Whoa. with the season's final isekai, besides Jahi, which again won't be out till August, it's time uh. for one more vibe check. Madhouse has just released an original anime about teenagers with superpowers trapped in a school that's slipping through dimensions, written and directed by Shingo 
One Punch Man and Space Dandy Natsu Man. Oh my it's god. Sunny Boy, and I should not have to say a single other word about it. Sure, I could tell you that it's thematically fascinating using its amped up Lord of the Flies concept to amplify this sounds really more cool. essential questions about humans and the societies we build. I could point to how striking its stark pocket dimension setting is and how it uses negative space in its shot composition, editing, and sound design That's weird. to create a powerful sense of atmosphere. I could also gush about how inventive its powers are Whoa. and all the cool effects that are used to realize them, but really, it ought to be enough to know that one of the greatest animators alive today who happens to be friends with most of the other greatest animators alive today and has a knack for getting favors out of them has finally been given free reign to make his own anime and what's more he's doing it at a studio that historically speaking has almost always given original works like this the backing they need Oof. to actually meet not a huge fan of death parade much like vivi was last season sunny boy is as sure a sure thing as original anime get all right cool because vivi was best, boss man i really like that sure. ending i was a bit like oh what are you I'll doing but yeah if remake our lives doesn't rank among them based on the strength of its initial episodes alone it's remake not our about life. an economics major who tried and failed to make it as a game designer going back no. in time to take a chance <laughs> on the dream art college he lacked the confidence to attend in his first timeline is a bit convoluted and wish fulfilling and totally ignores Kyoya's moral obligation to save the victims of the Tohoku earthquake, but the setting that plot sets up, an art college full of quirky students, the quirkiest and the most talented of whom all coincidentally live in the same dorm, gives of course. me mad <laughs> pet girl of Sakura so vibes. And that is one of my favorite rom-com anime ever, so when I see an anime like it, where the characters You're obviously are gonna like it. a little, dealing with more adult problems and insecurities, and also all the women are insanely hot and the ED puts them all in swimsuits and nice. they're all in nice. college, which also bumps up the odds that that etchy stuff and the Oof. romance of my god actually goes somewhere before it's over I can't help getting excited on top of that the story itself while convoluted is quite well told the time travel she looks like um, the girl from Devil's Part Time though Kyoya is now classmates with a group of future famous artists called the Platinum Generation, for whom he holds an immense amount of respect, which serves with his ego in some really interesting ways. Also, the script is really clever, if not subtle, in combining genuinely educational bits of info about different artistic disciplines and storytelling methodologies and the theory behind them with exposition and foreshadowing for its main plot. Best of all, the parts of the show that matter most, the characters, are all instantly endearing and insanely memorable. If you're looking for a great rom-com this summer, Remake Our Lives is the one. Okay. And with that, those were the ones to watch for summer 2020. Sweet. One. I I'm sorry I put that emphasis on that like that. I just couldn't help it. Now, if you're willing to settle for a pretty good rom-com, our honorable mentions offer another option. Kanojo mo Kanojo. Girlfriend, girlfriend. Girl I've seen that floating around. A harem anime about two girls and their boyfriend who they live with. Its characters can be more than a bit cringy what? in how they <laughs> communicate with each other, but at least they do actually try to communicate, which is rare for this genre. If you enjoy anime about moderately insane dumbasses in love, this one's a yes. horny, heartwarming of course. The manga's also up in Bookwalker's edgy summer sale. Oh, of course. First, just FYI. Remain, an original sports anime about a middle school water polo champ who lost both his memories and his skills after no. a car crash put him in a coma, <laughs> no. also has some light romance in it and plenty Aww. of comedy to boot. It hasn't really delivered the hype that I come to sports anime for mm. just yet, but its cast it's is immensely likable, as you'd expect from the writer of Tiger and Bunny, so if it picks oh, up in intensity, it could get really good. Now, if intensity is what you're looking Ooh, for, what's this? you don't care so much for things Ooh. like coherent plotting and character writing, yeah. then both Death Battle and Five Seconds of Meeting and Peach Boy Riverside might suit your fancy. The former is your basic super-powered survival game thingy. Battle game in five seconds, okay. And some Whoa! ...mind game potential in the main character's unique ability, while the latter is a sane and fantasy adventure story set in a world beset by very creatively designed Whoa. movie who can only be defeated by uber 
super powerful, vaguely psychotic Momotaro. Sick. It's a bit dumb, but the art style's tight, the character hmm. designs are amazing, and the speed with which its extremely graphic cartoon violence ramps up is just incredible. Sick. Last but not least, Tante Wamo. The detective is already dead. Or the detective is already dead. Funimation have been pushing this one on Twitter. I've heard a lot of good things about. ReZero's Subaru is even a canonical fan. But oh. after an apparently oh. anime original first episode that I'd describe as immaculately polished dog Whoa. shit, followed by a second that was way better written but also sort of bland, I've yet to see a reason to actually recommend the show itself. Okay. The convoluted core concepts, definitely interesting and rife with emotional potential though, so I will keep watching to see where it goes and eventually report my findings. Now it's time to report yours. Let me know in the comments below which anime this season you're most excited about and why. And while you're down there, don't forget to check that pinned comment for any ongoing bookwalker sales of The Realist Hero, Life Lessons with Uramichio Nissan, The Case Study of Vanitas, or Kageki Shoujo. I'm Jeff Thu, professional shitbag. Signing, signing out from, from my, my mother's basement. basement. So we've got some recommendations. I love it. There's some interesting looking anime out there. I like how he's very much like, it isn't as good as what we've had. <laughs> and I like that there's still a lot to check out. So I'm going to maybe like two or three of those I'll start watching. Like I said, I've just only started watching 86. And I still need to watch Zombie Land Saga, Zombie Land Saga Revenge. And I still need to watch the second season of How I Summon a Demon Lord. Oh, I'm so behind. So, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, shout out to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video that I upload, a uh, link is in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar a month is all I ask to help support the channel. Greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for that, guys. And thank you all for watching. What did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. Oh, you guys. Next time.